This is Tyler with 123 Do It, and today we are looking at a LS tractor MT122, which is a 22 horsepower tractor. And we have a um, PTO wood chipper hooked up to it. It's a four inch chipper, rated for four inches. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick show how it works, how it hooks up, uh, you know, kind of see how it does. So far, I've been running this thing for probably about a week, um, and I have yet to stall the tractor. I have stopped the chipper, which slips the belts. And uh, other than that, the 122 horsepower has been awesome. I don't think I would need anything bigger than that for what I'm trying to chip up here. I'll get you going here, set you up. You can watch it, see how it works. And if you have any questions, hit the comments below. All right, so here's the chipper itself. Attaches to a PTO shaft here off the back of the tractor right there it's on a quick hitch adapter so I just back this up to the tractor up to the chipper it lifts by the two pins one on each side and the top pin right there I had to add on this bracket here to make it a little more quick hitch compatible uh, these holes are too far back for the top hook and it's driven by three belts down here I have replaced those three belts and it has a auto feeder system right here. Again, driven, oops, get you on the other side where you can see it. Driven by this belt right here, which is driven off the shaft from the other side. You have a uh, release for the drive wheel here. You can do this, disengage it so it's not feeding anymore. You can pull your material back out and like i said it's a 22 horse uh, ls tractor and i believe this chipper is a tool barn which i had never really heard of them but i guess they do sell stuff online um 100 china made i'm sure <laughs> can't find a serial number or brand name or anything on it so i'll get you set up and you can watch the magic happen and here's some of the limbs we're chipping. These are pretty green cedar. Uh, we just took them off of this tree right here. Some of these in comparison are about the size of your arm. Maybe a little bit bigger. That's about a three inch. This one here was probably closer to a four when it was all one piece. I'll shove those through for you. Uh, you do have to take off some of the wider limbs. Uh, like when we get to this Y right here, that probably won't go through because that gets wider than four inches and I don't think the auto feeder can suck that through. So I'll probably take the saw, cut this off. Using a little Makita 18 volt battery operated saw right there. I've done another review on that before. That six amp battery sucks. Don't buy the China six amp batteries off of Amazon. They're no good. Those are actually going back and I've had them about a week. You can see a different review on those later. Anyway, I'll chip these up for you. Enjoy. Here you'll notice the chipper slows down occasionally and there's not as much material being discharged from the chute. This is because the belts are slipping and causing the chipper itself to slow, but not the tractor. This one here, you'll notice that it doesn't want to blend very well. 
have to reach around on the left side and hold the lever for the auto feed system in the on position to keep it engaged. As the feeder gets over four inches, it disengages occasionally. I also have to help assist the feeder because these limbs are so green and wet that the teeth don't want to grab the bark very well.